There are five displays available, Active, Active Intercept, Demon, Broadband, and Narrowband. The waterfall screens on your left are so-called because the information cascades down from the top. The bright line at the center is a contact to which your sonar supervisor has already assigned Tracker Alpha and which is designated as Sierra 1. Because it is being tracked, it will display on the navigation screen when the contact overlay is on. Notice Sierra 1. Go now to the TMA or Target Motion Analysis screen and select Sierra 1 from the list of contacts. You will see displayed on the left-hand side the sonar lines of bearing for Sierra 1. Target motion analysis is a process of determining the course, speed, and range of the contact. Your estimates will be displayed in the windows on the lower left side of the screen. You have a TMA assistant who can accurately estimate the target speed and use that information to derive estimates for range and course. Your crew has the ability to classify contacts. They'll determine whether contacts are neutral, hostile, or friendly, and they have been trained to only make verbal reports to you of the hostile contacts. They have determined that this contact is a tanker, a neutral contact. These lines of bearing show the tanker's change in bearing over time. The information gives a general idea of the contact's course, and in this case, it's moving from right to left, heading to the west. As useful as this information is, it's important that the TMA assistant also estimate the target's range, which is a critical piece of data you need in any situation. To do this, the TMA assistant uses the green ruler on the TMA board. Estimating the tanker's speed, he can line up the tick marks on the ruler with the displayed lines of bearing and derive a target solution. The dot stack in the upper left-hand corner indicates the accuracy of your solution. The dots should be in a straight line. 